102 Today FM. Yeah, all this week we're going to try and give you a little flavour of Christmas with some live Christmas songs. We're going to start off with my favourite Christmas carol of all time. And uh, next door is uh, one of uh, the guests of the year, actually, Celine Byrne, who was on with us um, earlier. Hello, Celine. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Great. Very good. You're busy at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, very busy at the moment. That's uh, not real fur, by the way, is it? This? Yeah. No, no, no. I, I mean, anti fur. Anti fur, so, but yeah. it, it looks stunning. I'd love to it's very say I had the money to buy it, but <laughs> I don't. No, no. I just thought getting the Christmas spirit, you know? Very good, yeah. Well, it's lovely to see you. Now, you're doing a few things. You're going to be off in, Pro- in Croatia with um, with Jose this Carreras. I grab with Jose Carreras on Saturday night, I sing there. Very and then good. I come back Sunday morning, I fly in because I have a concert. At the moment, I'm doing a Viennese Christmas tour. Yeah. And on Sunday night, I'm in the venue in Rathoth, and there's still tickets of Available for that, well, hey. and and also before you yes. go then to uh, to Croatia, you're you're doing one in the the National Gallery, aren't you? That's on, right, on, on the 17th. Thursday. Thursday the 17th it'll Thursday. be my son's birthday he'll be 13 right very so, good in for the teenage years so <laughs> exactly it's all ahead of you um, and, uh, and then you're doing the CD as well in 2010 isn't that right yes That's it's a work. project that I'm looking forward to doing yeah. um, we're still in the middle of trying to negotiate things and all but it's looking well it's looking well ok and on the uh, on the Late Late Show the Christmas special on December 28th you're going to be you're going to be performing there as well yes I'll be singing this song I'll be singing The Holy Night yes. will you Oh Holy Night yes. it's great what is it about it? I don't know what it is. It really kind of captures the mood, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it reminds you about what Christmas should be about. It's beautiful. I like there's lovely carols out there. Like in yeah. Bleak Midwinter would be one of my favourite carols to sing. Right. But this is the the classic epitome of uh, Christmas with the Holy Night. Very good. Mm-hmm. Okay, and do you know who wrote it? Adolf Adams. Adolf, yes, in 1847. God, I'm glad I knew that. Yeah. I feel like I'm in back in school. <laughs> to the like fre- to, to a that French one. poem. Yes. Um, he put the music to it, yeah. And uh, the poem was by a wine merchant. Mm. There you go, and a poet. Anyway, uh, so Oh Holy Nice and yes. Celine Byrne. And you have uh, Dervla there as well? I on have Dervla Brosnan on the Roland piano yeah, here. Very good. Is that is that our Roland piano or did you bring it in yourself? No, I brought it. It's a fold-up one I have in my oh. handbag. <laughs> Stick it out of your handbag. Okay, <laughs> right. Okay. All right, let's start Christmas then with Oh Holy Nice. Thanks. Celine Byrne live. Oh! 
Holy God. Fantastic. <laughs> don't be blasphemed oh, now. Holy night. Fantastic. That was lovely. Thank you. And I, I really want to got... dedicate that to my grandmother who's sitting at home listening this morning. That's, That's for Holly Dolly. Holly Dolly. Holly. Holly Dolly. Yeah. That's your grandmother's name? Yes. Holly. Henrietta. Oh. But Holly for sure. Sounds kind of exotic. Yes, well, they, she says she's descended as sp- the Spanish Armada, but we won't get into <laughs> <laughs> So listen, uh, lots of people say that goosebumps, amazing. Uh, that's some voice. Well, it is early in the morning. There you go. Uh, such a people. joy to listen to and uh, such a sweet speaking voice. And then the most, that's it, that's true, actually. Chatting away there. And then suddenly, oh, holy. <laughs> Where does that voice come from? It's amazing. <laughs> anyway, congratulations. That's an example of your singing, Ian. Yeah, I know. I've, I've, uh, I've tried, you know. I, okay. I, I haven't really got any further with that, you know, I'll leave that up to people like you. Yeah. Uh, so, um, the new album coming out in 2010, you're going to be on the Late Late, you're doing your concert then, uh, there's one on the yes. National Gallery uh, at 6.30 this coming uh, Thursday, and then off to Croatia with Jose Carreras, if you don't mind, and then uh, off to Ratoth on the 20th of December, which is next Sunday. Sunday, this Sunday, Sunday going, very yes. good. <laughs> you, know, um, you know, like the X Factor ended last night. Yeah, would you? What do you think of all that kind of stuff? Being well, to be a, honest, yeah. I do get a little bit engrossed in it, and yeah. for, I did watch it because it's the only thing I watch on TV. That and The Apprentice. Right. And I have <laughs> to say, I did pick out Joe from the audition stage. Did you? Yes. For the quality of his singing voice. Just he's just a lovely personality, lovely yeah. big smile, and you yeah. know, personality sometimes shines through in a performance, I and think it, so, that yeah. is very important. It's not just about being the voice. Right. Okay. You know? And the other one that was very big was in Britain's Got Talent. What do you think about uh, Susan Boyle? Like she's had a, an amazing uh, success story, hasn't well, she? all I can say is <laughs> off you go sure you know I'm uh, just jealous of her fame to be honest hey, right. but um, I'm you know what do you whatever. think of her singing voice though I mean I know you no, do she, she can sing yeah, no, she, she really can, can sing yeah. like she was back on the X Factor there and she sang um, was it Wild, Wild, Hor- Horses? Wild Horses the yeah, Rolling Stones song she did a really good yeah, uh, version yeah, on it her yeah. voice is lovely but from a performance point of view Okay, she doesn't cut it, but then again, that's not the background she came from. Yeah, but so. I think, and I think it's more where you know the the kind of the the rags to riches story in a way, yeah. isn't it? That it was yeah. the fact that they all said, "Ha ha, look at this silly old one coming on," and then suddenly this voice came out. Yes. So the voice is brilliant, but it's not it's not you know stunning or superb. It's, I mean, it's it's average, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But yeah. I mean, it's it's the story that says the same as Paul Potts before her. Yeah. You know? That's true, yeah, it is the story that sells. So. Anyway, so you, re- you reckon Joe is good anyway? So. I think he's lovely, yeah. The, the, there's his single. He's Super. such a pet. Can you hear that? That'll be a big hit. It'll be yes. Christmas number one. Uh, that's the Hannah Montana, the climb. That's right. Oh, my God. So I think, stuff. in a way, when that song was chosen, I, I was. I even I was away last night doing my Viennese Christmas yeah. in Galway, but I knew he'd win because that song really suits him. And in oh. in a way, you could say that the judges picked that song, and he was pipped to the post. Right. Or no, no, he pipped Ollie to the post, you know, because mm. of the song. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ollie other, has a career in front of him anyway, so... Any other t- TV t- shows? T- Rachel t- Allen's cooking show? Do you want to talk about that? Or? No, I'm not really into cooking there myself. <laughs> okay. You know, no. Listen, Celine, it's always a pleasure to see you. Happy Christmas. Happy and thank Christmas you very much for all. doing that. And um, All Holy Nights by Celine Byrne. don't forget, Byrne. people, Jesus is the reason for the season. Good for you. There were two sisters. <laughs>